Here's how it is. We will crawl out of the bar, the basement of uh, the bitter cold, uh, the deep freeze, however you describe it, into some single digits into the afternoon time. Uh, between 5 and 8, we're thinking right now. So uh, significantly below that 24 degree average high temperature. Still running a deficit uh, ending the month of December with 5 inches below, even though we picked up an inch, inch and a half around the Twin Cities. These are some numbers uh, you can take a look at. This is uh, daytime highs anticipated for tomorrow and not even above zero as you can see in far western Minnesota. So a lot of cold air in place. There's some alerts out. These are wind chill advisories and wind chill warnings. This one, a new one uh, up here in the, all the areas shaded in the gray blue. Uh, that's a wind chill, wind chill warning that is out for up to 40 below zero going through overnight and into uh, to early tomorrow. So looking ahead, uh, we do have that warm up in store. That happens uh, by Thursday in the mid 30s and that milder air in place all the way into Saturday, which is now looking like the warmest day of the seven day forecast. And then it's back to some uh, January reality on Monday uh, with a few uh, flurries and sprinkles in the upper 20s. There's your forecast. We'll send it over to Perk. Oh, snap. Always snapping back to reality, aren't we, Pat? By the way, Timberwolves down, like double digits down in this game to New Orleans on the road in the big easy. And it wasn't easy. Highlights of this and a whole lot more on the way. Tonight, Fallon has Lynn Manuel Miranda with a big announcement and a holiday medley. I'm a happy holidays and the least I like it like that. Oh, Plus, Tyler Ninja Blevins and Black Thought performs. Fallon tonight. Hottest prices of the year. Year-end sale at Slumberland. It's a good life. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, presented by Slumberland. It's a good life. They say you should always listen to your heart. And where better to do that than the island of Ireland? After all, your heart is the best compass there is. So get out there and fill your heart with the stuff that keeps it beating. Fill your heart with Ireland. Out here, we have miles of front row seats. Are you kidding me? Inspiration lives on both sides of the roads. Every shot fuels fans to cheer louder, fueling players to go lower. That is unreal. The PGA Tour is coming to the TPC Twin Cities for the 3M Open July 1st through 7th. Visit 3MOpen.com to purchase tickets. Today I'm delivering something special. Thank yous. See, Minnesotans like you support our investments in clean energy and participate in our energy efficiency programs. And did you know, the average monthly electric bill for XL Energy customers here in Minnesota is 22% below the national average. So thanks, Minnesota. You've set a good energy example for all of us. 22%? Nice. Always delivering our best because of you. That's Excel Energy. There's not much time. Final countdown initiated. It's the final days of Nissan's year-end event. Your last chance to load up on tech and save big on our award-winning lineup featuring the all-new Altima, Rogue, and the powerful Titan. Time's running out. Get the holiday's biggest tech before it's gone. Get up to 2,500 bonus cash on select models or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. This event ends January 2nd. Better hurry. Sticks and stones, they may take, but I won't break. No, no, oh, oh, I got Women are crushing it right here in Minnesota. Check out their stories every Wednesday on CARE 11 Sunrise.
The Marines in CARE 11 would like to thank everyone who donated to Toys for Tots this year. With your help, more than 100,000 children will receive toys. The ability to bring joy into a child's life is a big part of what this time of year is all about. So thank you and happy holidays. If you have a news tip or have news video and photos, email us. Call us at 763-593-1111 or share on our Facebook and Twitter pages. CARE 11 Sports from the Speedway Sports Desk. What an opportunity to end 2018 on a winning note. Wolves in New Orleans to take on the Pelicans playing without their superstar Anthony Davis scratched during pregame with illness. This is like playing the New England Patriots with Brian Hoyer. Down, Molly. We'll be cutting the pizza here, here, and here. Is that permanent? Back to you, Matt. For $10 on Tuesdays, get any large pizza. We make it, you bake it. Papa Murphy. I'm underwhelmed. Next. Champagne tonight to celebrate 2018. Celebrate that it's over. An early start in St. Paul against Pittsburgh. The Wild got off to a good start when Miko Koivu will score in the power play. It's only Miko's fifth goal of the year, but the Penguins can score goals. Here, Phil Kessel with a beautiful pass to Sidney Crosby. It's tough to stop that. The Pens scored three unanswered goals. It could have been worse, but somehow this puck goes off one of the straps on Devin Dubnik's pass. Thinly down to negative 20 degrees. Visipa, along with diet and exercise, has proven results in multiple clinical trials. And easy to install. Get your choice of Citadel vinyl plank in two colors or Charleston vinyl plank also in two colors. 15% off sale prices on any Serta Perfect Sleeper mattress. This special edition queen mattress is now just $3.99. Plus get interest-free financing until 2020. Our New Year's sale at Home Sleep Express. It is New Year's Eve and there is one heck of a party happening in New Orleans right now. It's the city's tricentennial. It's 300th birthday, just in time to ring in the new year. Yeah, across the city, there are firework displays featuring soundtracks from local singers. There are art shows opening, cheese festivals underway, and of course, drink deals on the famous Bourbon Street. New Orleans was founded in 1718 by a French explorer sailing down the Mississippi River, searching for the perfect place to call home. Meantime, in Thailand, they have a very different way of ensuring a good new year. Worshippers heading to temples to lie in coffins, taking part in traditional funeral rituals. It's believed that the ceremony, symbolizing death and rebirth, helps them get rid of bad luck and be born again for a fresh start in the new year. Parts of Thailand are now very modern, but superstitious beliefs still hold sway in many aspects of Thai society. Mm. All right, and in Times Square, of course, they are getting ready in about a half an hour here yeah. to ring in the new year. And uh, you can see- A cold see, one out there. Yeah, you can see the crowded uh, <laughs> folks behind us in their ponchos. We're gonna have your forecast uh, for 2018 for the final hours of 2018 here right after the break. So stay with stay us. With us. Hello to see where the dashboard. better to you know when we get back to OTAs taking advantage of those that time uh, taking advantage of, of these next couple months to get stronger I think overall it was good um, but there's always stuff you can learn from I mean this league will humble you so you got to just take uh, take your licks and learn from it and move forward Tonight, Negan had a chance to host the final Vikings player radio show with Harrison Smith and Jeff Diamond. More end of season perspective from player and from a young fan you know, at some point you gotta you gotta break it down. You can't be uh, you know too emotional about it. You gotta... Does your mom and dad tell you that part of being a Viking fan is sometimes we're disappointed? Yeah, but I like the Titans just a smudge bit more. The Titans, he says. How about the Browns? Current Vikings offensive coordinator Kevin Stefanski will reportedly get an interview for the head coaching job with the Cleveland Browns. He's been the Vikings OC for just three games. The Minnesota Wild traditionally play an early evening New Year's Eve game at the X. It gets more special when the Pittsburgh Penguins are the opponent and even more special when you get to see Sid the Kid score a goal. Sidney Crosby tied it in the first period from the doorstep with a helper to Phil Kessel. Remember that name? Yes, the former gopher and suddenly seasoned veteran is still holding his own. He breaks the tie off a Crosby rebound. 
The Penguins moved it to three to one, and that's too much for the offensively starved Wild right now. Zach Parisi cut it to a goal deficit. Nice stick work. They need him to be productive if they're going to get into the playoff conversation, but that was not enough. Pittsburgh wins it. 3-2 in St. Paul. The Timberwolves have won three straight on the road and got a break before tonight's game at New Orleans. Pelican star Anthony Davis. To deal with any...